Hello everyone, welcome to ANSYS tutorial YouTube channel. In this video, we'll discuss radiation. Okay, this is ANC workbench software. So just select steady state thermal option. Okay, now go to the engineering data to select the material. And here is the engineering data source. Click on that and click thermal material. You will get different type of thermal material here. Just select Teflon. Suppose our plate is made of with Teflon and just select Aluminium. Another plate is made of with Aluminium. Now go to the project again and click on Geometry. Double click on geometry. Okay, it will it will be opened in a few minutes. Okay, here it is. Now first go to the unit and select millimeter and select any of the plane. I am selecting XY plane. Just click on it and click on this option. Look at face. Okay, now this is a XY plane in front of you. Just we have to draw the two plate. Okay, go to the sketching, select rectangle, this is the main point and this is your rectangle. To assign the dimension, just click on dimension and click on this side of rectangle and click on this side of rectangle. Okay, suppose our plate is 60 mm long and 40 mm wide, right? So suppose this is our plate, okay? This is the cross section of the plate. Just click on generate. Okay. And suppose our plate is 120 mm long. So just go to the extrude option. And you have seen that under XY plane, sketch 1 is already generated. What we have drawn. Okay. Now go to the geometry and select sketch 1, apply. And here, enter 120 mm suppose the whole plate is 120 mm long and enter and click on generate now you can see a plate is generated which is 120 mm long and the cross section of the plate is 60 by 40 mm okay we want to draw another plate of the similar dimension so for doing that go to the create option and go to the body transformation and click on translate. Click on translate. Okay, you can see the software is asking for the body. Now click this solid option and apply. And suppose the translation, you can see that we want to draw another plate here, right? So you can see this is the Z direction, positive Z directions. Okay. Now one body is selected and suppose the gap of between the two plates is 10 mm and this is 120 mm long, right? So 120 mm plus 10 mm, 130 mm. Translations, right? So go to the coordinates. This is a positive Z direction. So just type 130 and click enter. You can see another body is created, right? and preserve the main body so keep it yes okay now click on generate you can see another body is generated so the radiation between two plate will be there between these two gap you know that we do not need any medium for the radiation so geometry part it is done just close Okay, now double click on model. It will take some time to open. Okay, it is opening. Please wait. There it is. Now first work is under geometry true solid is created what we have drawn on geometry section. Now assign the material. 
Suppose this solid is made up with aluminium and this solid is made up with Teflon, right? So material is assigned. This is the aluminium and this is Teflon, right? Now go to the mesh and click on generate. Okay, mesh is generated automatically. Now go to the steady state thermal option. Right click on it, insert temperature. Now it is asking for geometry. So we will select this surface, apply and suppose the temperature of this surface is say 600 degree centigrade and enter. Okay. This is the aluminium plate material we have assigned before. Okay. And again go to the steady state thermal, insert temperature. Suppose this surface of Teflon, the temperature is 22 degree, that is ambient temperature. Okay. Now again go to the insert, click on radiation. Okay. So the radiation is happening between two plate. So select this surface, right? Apply. Now here, just change it to ambient to surface to surface because here the radiation is happening between two surface. So just click on the option surface to surface. Okay. And suppose the emissivity of this body is 0.8. So enter 0 0.8. Okay. Now again, we have to assign also this surface. So go to the steady state thermal. Insert and radiation. Click on this surface and apply and change it to surface to surface again. And suppose emissivity of this Teflon body is 0 0.6 and enter. So you can see we have applied four condition in this geometry. Those are Suppose the temperature, first this temperature of this surface is, suppose this is the aluminium body and temperature of this surface is 600 degree centigrade and temperature of this surface, this is a Teflon body and temperature of this surface is suppose 22 degree centigrade. You can watch here and the radiation is happening between two plate, between the gap of the two plate. So we have to assign these two surface for the radiations. So now radiation one, you can see we have applied to this surface here and change it to the surface to surface because radiation is happening here surface to surface and suppose the emissivity of this body is 0.8 so we have entered here 0.8 okay and enclosure type open okay and also we have to assign this surface we have assigned that okay see the emissivity of this body suppose 0.6 so we have applied in the same way okay everything has been assigned now go to the solution part right click on solution insert thermal and click on temperature temperature at different section we will get to know from here now again go to the insert and go to the probe and click on radiation sorry we have wrongly entered the reaction probe delete it Okay, go to the solution and go to the probe and here it is radiation and for radiation, radiation 1, suppose this surface, right, and again go to the probe, radiation, radiation 2, suppose radiation 2 is for this surface. Okay, everything has been assigned. Now click on solve. The problem is solving. Okay, it will take some time. You can watch the progress here. Okay, now the problem is already solved. You can check the temperature profile. Just click on probe and you can move your cursor. You can see the different temperature at different section of, of this body. As this is made up with the aluminium, 
and thermal conductivity of aluminum is more so that the temperature reduction here is less and here the radiation take place because you know that we have assigned this surface temperature is 22 degree but due to the radiation the this section temperature of the body is about 405.62 degree centigrade and temperature gradually decreasing you can watch from here okay if you want to know the animation just tap here you can see the animation how the heat is transferring through radiation from this aluminium body to this body right just so undeformed model you can see the temperature okay now you can click on reaction reaction radiation sorry radiation 1 and radiation 2 probe and you can watch the total amount of the radiated energy that is emitted from this sur for this surface it is here for this surface this is here for this surface the data is here and for this surface the data is here the total amount of the radiation will be there and the temperature profile is here in front of you okay now you can adjust your animation you can see it okay this is a simple radiation problem okay you can watch my previous video which is for conduction thanks for watching if you have any query please comment below bye bye